So yeah, for those who don't know, my name is Adrian. I have been a software engineer for just a little bit over two years now. And I feel like I'm just starting to get out of my rookie years, I guess. Uh, and I figured, you know, might as well share this list for anybody who might benefit from this. That's enough talking. I'll start with number five. And number five is take notes during meetings when you're first starting your career. Yeah, anytime you start a new job, there will always be like acronyms, terms, phrases, etc. that are widely used inside the company that you may have never heard before. Taking note of these early on will allow you to be a little bit more present during the meetings and therefore help you better understand what is being discussed. I can't tell you the number of times where I've been in a meeting and I have no idea what they're talking about, but taking notes does help because you're able to reference them later on. Noting down something will definitely last a bit longer than trying to remember Remember it on your own and it will give you points to ask questions the next time you meet your teammates or somebody who's at a senior level to you so that you do know what to ask and you do know where the gaps in understanding are. I'm actually heading out to go look at some couches and then I'm gonna go play football. On to number four of the top five things I wish I knew before I started my job as a software engineer. This one is probably one of the most important ones on my list. Everybody was once where you are right now. Um, you might be feeling a little bit out of your depth. You might be feeling like you don't belong, especially in meetings where you don't completely or even partially for that matter, understand what is being talked about, what is going on. It's kind of hard to feel like everybody was once where you were. It's definitely a little bit isolating, but being able to step back and see that everybody who is in a senior position to you was once where you are and they've made it to where they are right now is very motivating in that you're able to see what your potential could be and that just frees you up man that just helps a lot in terms of being confident on the job it helped reduce a lot of my imposter syndrome that I was feeling when I was first starting out but yeah just being able to know that somebody was once in your shoes is very reassuring that's the word that I was looking for yeah that's probably one of the most important ones on my list that I wish I knew earlier if you're starting out at a new job you are not alone everybody is once in your shoes you're doing perfectly fine you're doing amazing just keep going doing the best you can and that's number four i gotta head to the shop that is selling these couches because they're about to close soon and then i gotta head out for football thousand years later um as you can probably tell it's not the same time as the last piece of footage that you just saw this weekend turned out to be a lot more busy than i was expecting i wasn't able to continue where i left off since i was planning to post this sunday i might as well just finish it tonight and go through the last three things that i wish i knew before becoming a software engineer um super quick so yeah let me kick it off with number three um number three is be as clueless as you can be in the beginning weeks of a new job or project whenever you start 
starting out on a new job or a project, you usually have like a little bit of a grace period for you to ramp up and get up to speed on things that people on the team are working on, the technologies that you're going to be working with. This is the time that you need to be utilizing and taking advantage of the most because nobody's expecting anything from you at this time. So what I mean when I say be as clueless as you can be is during meetings, although it can be a little bit daunting at first because you've just joined, ask as many questions as you would like. Nobody's going to judge you. Nobody's going to think anything about it because you're just starting out. Reach out to people who know more than you on the particular topic that you are working on so that you can level up as well. Do this for however long the grace period at your company usually is. Typically, I guess like around two to three weeks. And I'm not going to make any promises, but you're going to be shocked at the amount of progress that you've made in that time span that is number three on the list on to number two as a software engineer you need to keep sharpening your skills outside of your work hours yeah this is still something that i'm working on currently being able to continue doing side projects and passion projects on top of your job will keep you interested in software engineering and being able to continue this as you're working is going to improve your skill set as a software engineer which will then reflect in your actual work i found that for me the reason that i liked software engineering is because i was able to build whatever i wanted and sometimes whenever we're working we don't get that option so having a side project or a passion project is typically the option that we have to continue pursuing the things that we are passionate about on top of that continuing to do side projects and learning can even help you discover other areas or languages you may be interested in, in working with in the future yeah there's so many ways that you can do this watching youtube tutorials building projects on your own taking courses on sites like scrimba which funnily enough is today's sponsor if you don't know what scrimba is scrimba is an online platform that has a catalog of so many amazing courses in almost all things software engineering related or computer science related some do cost money but a large number of them are free like this learn react course which i coincidentally took three years ago actually when i was first learning react all these courses are taught by seasoned developers and they even provide a code editor directly on the platform so that you can follow along and actively participate during the course which I found super helpful and I found that it really helps solidify my understanding of concepts that I learned during the courses. Scrimba has also recently partnered with Mozilla MDN to make learning web development a lot easier for those who are just starting out. So if you feel like you need to brush up your skills in particular areas of web development, software engineering, even if you just want to learn something completely new, then I would highly recommend you give Scrimba a shot. Um, to help you, I've linked some of the courses that I'm most interested in taking down in the description below or try to find something that interests you. If you do decide to enroll in a course that is not free you can use my discount code to get 20 percent off of any courses that you sign up for and yeah huge shout out to scrimba for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video on to number one on my list of things that i wish i knew when i was first starting out as a software engineer don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it so yeah i've come to realize that like when it comes to software engineering it's sometimes hard to admit defeat in fear of like looking weak or unintelligent or lazy or all of the above and with that comes the ever demanding task of admitting you need help when you're stuck now of course i don't mean once you get a task assigned to you you just give up immediately if you don't know what it it's about and you immediately start looking for help what i mean is once you've already done what you can to the best of your ability and you haven't been able to make any progress in your tickets or in your work that you've been assigned don't hesitate or waste time in asking for help if you need it i found that it's a lot better to ask for help when you need it versus trying to stay silent and and end up closing out the sprint without finishing that task especially when you're starting out it's not bad to ask for help when you need it in fact it's actually encouraged it means that you are taking responsibility of your task and your ticket and you're getting it done no matter what and with that comes the end of my list of five things that i wish i knew when i first started out as a software engineer if you liked today's video give it a thumbs up comment subscribe let me know which of the tips helped you the most that's going to be it for today's video i'll catch you in the next one